Hi guys, um, before we get started, just ignore my zit that's right here, um, pimple zit, whatever. So today I have six books that I want to get through, and some of these books really weren't that good, to be honest. So let's just get started. So this one I read, usually I like, um, this is, um, Philippa Gregory, she writes about... Most of the time, our books that I've read by her are mostly about, like, the royal family in, like, the 14th century, like, Henry VIII's wives, or him, him, himself, um, Henry VIII himself, or stuff like that. And it's called The Cousin Swore, The Red Queen by Philippa, Phil, Philippina Gregory. I guess I'll tell you to say her name, I don't know. This is what it looks like, and this book wasn't that good. It was about this woman who, sh if she, blah, blah, blah. it was about this girl who she got married when she was like 14 or something, and she gets married and she doesn't like the idea of being somebody's like property to begin with. So what happens is, is she marries this guy, and I think it's because she's like the heir to the throne, the Tudor throne. So, she has a baby with him, and shortly after she has the baby, her husband dies, and her son that she had gets, um, overhauled to some other castle or something, or to, um, her hus her dead husband's cousin. And then she, um, she goes through her widow phase, which is, like, for a year, and then her mother makes her remarry again, and what happens in this is, is there's a clash between, um, the true royal, the true royal, the true rulers of England and the people who ascended the throne, which are different, and she's trying to get her son onto the, f onto the throne, sorry you guys, I can't talk today, Onto the throne, because he's the rightful heir to the throne. And I liked it. I thought it was really good. Um, I mean, I thought it was like, I mean, it, the one thing I do say is, is the chapters are really long in it. Because, um, the chapters are like in years, like, it's like the spring of 15, blah, 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 blah. Or the summer of 1600 or whatever. Um, that's the only thing that's wrong with it, um... I really, like, there's a lot, like, it was, it wasn't that it was bad, it was just okay. Um, the one thing I do have to say is there's lots of Henrys in this book, so if you do read it, I suggest you pay close attention to what each Henry is involved with, and who, which one is the prince, the duke, her son, so you guys don't get confused. That was the one thing that I got confused on a lot in the book. This next book I read, um, I didn't really finish it because I really didn't like it. Um, this is The Trap by Tabitha King, and Tabitha King is Stephen King's wife. And I got, I got this, I got, um, all these at, um, well, the one um, my mom got, um, but the, the other ones I got are at a book, were from a book sale. And this one I really didn't like, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be kind of, um... Like, the genre, Stephen King writes horror, scary stuff, thriller stuff. So I thought it was going to be the same thing as that. But this book really wasn't that good. This is what it looks like. And let me tell you guys, it really wasn't that good. Like, I got confused as to what the story was about. Um, the prologue, it was about this girl who... She goes to this cabin with her parents and her friends and... She finds these three boys that are all brothers trying to terrorize this cat. So I thought, oh, like, these guys are going to try and have their way with her. Or they're going to kill the cat. And the cat's going to come back and haunt them. Or something like that. And it wasn't about that. And then in the first chapter, it was about, um, she goes, she gets a flat tire. And this old woman who was a lesbian, um that she knows from the cabins where she, they're, they're like vacational cabins. She says, I'll come to my house and blah, blah, blah. 
So they do that, and I thought, oh, like, this old lady's gonna try and kill them or something like that. But that, obviously, that didn't happen. It was basically about this woman. It's about the girl who is in the prologue that I just said about the in the woods with the guys. She, um, she, I think she's, like, I don't know if she, I think she's the mother, or she's, well, she's a married woman now. Excuse me. And she's having problems with her husband, and she thinks her husband's, like, going on all these business trips and doing drugs and stuff like that. So she has to decide if she wants to stay with him or if she wants to kick him to the curb. And so she decides to go back to the cabin and stay there for a while to reminisce and to recharge and to figure out what she should do. That's basically what the whole book was about. Nothing really exciting happened in it, to be honest. So this book, um, this book doesn't have a cover on it. I don't know if it had a cover on it or if it was like a library that closed down and they gave these to a book sale. I don't know. Um, but this is called Anne Boleyn by Anthony Crom Cromwell. This is, what it, this is what it looks like. It's like a blank tan book. Um, and that's what it looks like, the cover of the book. When I first got this book, I don't remember where I got it, and it was, like, at a big, like, book sale. I thought, oh, this book's gonna be about Anne Boleyn's life. It's gonna be, like, a biography about her, and I never read biographies about her. They were always, like, historical fictions, like the Philippa Gregory book. So I thought, oh, this is gonna be, like, you know, an autobiography, and it's gonna probably be boring because it would probably be, like, written in an autobiographical thing and not like a storyline kind of like I like. Like biographies, like I said before, sorry if I'm getting on tangent, but biographies are like, I like, it's either like they're straight into the core of like everything or they go in like a storyline kind of fashion where it flows kind of and I like that better than just a dry, bland, okay, he was born here, this is what happened, he got this, 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 and this when he was in the war or something like that. And then he died and whatever. Um, this one was actually a story. It was actually a story. It, it's like historical fiction because it does have historical facts of what happened to her and when she became um, Henry VIII's wife. And then what she felt about how she, um, how he cheated on her with Jane Seymour and her beheading and stuff like that. But, um, by the way, um, I don't know if, if you watched this, but, um, on PBS or WVIA, whatever, Channel 4, um, on Sundays, they have, um, it's almost over, but, um, this Secrets of the Six Wives show, and it's about all of Henry VIII's wives, and, oh my gosh, it is so good, you guys, and the woman who, um, it's only on for like an hour. The woman who narrates it or does it, she is so good at explaining things and making sure every, you, you can understand it and stuff like that. It is really good. I really like it. Um, it comes on Sundays at 10 o'clock. It's really good. It goes in order. So if you don't know what happened to his first three wives, you probably won't know what went on with his last three wives. So you guys know. But it's a good show. I like it. Because... Before that, um, the Victoria show comes on. It's about Queen Victoria. It's, like, supposed to take the place of Downton Abbey on that channel. So then it's the Henry, and then it's the Henry VIII's wives, wives. This book I read because, um, the movie, um, came out on Friday, the, A Dog's Purpose. It's by W. Bruce Cameron. I haven't seen it yet, but I think I might go see it on the weekend. I'm not sure. Um, this is what it looks like. It's not, it's like the older version, because I know they have, like, a newer version because the movie comes out, so, like, the cover is different on it when the movie comes out, but I like this one better, to be honest. This is what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to give a lot away. I remember when my mom read it, she said she cried during it. I don't really cry during, when I, ugh, when I read books, I don't really cry during them, except if they, like, really hit me, like, in a certain way. But, um, it was a cute story. It's about this dog who he, uh, when he fulfills his purpose to somebody's, um, life, he, he dies and then he comes back as another dog and to fulfill his purpose. And I think there's, like, four or five dogs he comes back as. Now, the one thing that I think I don't, I didn't really like about it is, is it's always repetitive. Because, yeah, I, I sort of feel like it's, like, reincarnation, kind of, um... 
a kind of thing like that, to be honest. I think that's what the book's kind of about. But, um, it's about, like, reincarnation. But the only thing I don't like is, is that every time he turn he dies and he comes back as a puppy, it's like the same thing, like, as a puppy. Like, the same things, it's, like, repetitive when he's a puppy, basically. And the ending was really, really good. I wasn't expecting the ending of it. But I really, really liked it. The one thing I have to say, though, is, is if the person, if the guy who wrote that book kept going and the dog kept coming back, because, well, whatever happened at the end, um, that ending, would the dog still come, keep coming back, like, be reincarnated, or would he be done? That's what the ending, that's like what the thing I don't, I have questions about because of the ending of it. So if the book would have kept going, would it end there because of what happened or would he, or the dog would just be reincarnated into it. But if you have seen the movie, I know about like the controversy during it, like about the dog, um, and the water and stuff like that. But if you've seen it, tell me in the comments if it was good. This book, um, if you read John Grogan's Marley and Me, you might like this. This is Bad Dogs Have More Fun. It's selected writings on family, animals, and life from the Philadelphia Inquirer. This is what it looks like. And when I first got this book, I saw, oh my, oh my gosh, it's John Grogan. He wrote Marley and Me, and I seen the movie. I had the movie, and then the disc um, skipped and stuff. But um, I thought, oh, it's called Bad Dogs Have More Fun. So I thought it was going to be about um, articles or somebody, like, people who write to him and tell them how bad their dog was. And it wasn't like that at all. It was, um, basically when, you know how in the book he write, I mean, in the Marlon Me, he, he's like a columnist at, like, all these different newspapers. And he writes about his life and stuff like that, and I think he writes about new, like, how some news affects him and stuff. And let me tell you, it wasn't that good. I thought it was going to be mostly about animals, and it really, it wasn't that good. There, there was, like, it was in three sections. It was, like, life, family, and pets. And the pet one was the second part of it. it there's not, there's not, um, they're not in chapters. It's just in parts, and it goes in chronological order on all of his columns and stuff. Um, I really didn't like it. I mean, I liked the pet, the pet part of his, um book of this book was really good but the other ones really weren't that good because I, I guess it was because when I went into it I expected it to be more about dogs and cats and pets and stuff and not about other things I guess I mean it was a good book I was just disappointed when I realized it wasn't all about pets and stuff this book I got that um the the, uh, the dog's a dog's purpose is the book that my mom got at Walmart like a couple of years ago when it first came out, and the rest of the ones were the yeah the thrift store the book sale ones. This is um the key in the attic. It's Annie's Attic Mysteries. It's by Deanna J Julie Dod Dodson. This is what it looks like, and the one thing I like about it, I gotta be honest, is it has this little bookmarker in it so you can like it's not like a bookmarker we have to pull it out all the time it's like connected to the book so you can just push it in and stuff when you want to stop reading for the day I like this book now I got these recently at a book sale and I didn't do a book haul on it because there was stuff there that I didn't want to show but um this is one of the books what it's about it's about this these I uh, old ladies and they have this needle knitting club and the one lady the one elderly woman has a shop and it's called a stitch in time and it's about where you can go get your knitting needles your yarn stuff like that and what happens is she goes into financial crisis on two different um things and they're trying to help her out without really helping her out like giving her the money or telling her, oh, this is worth money, you can have it if you want. So this one lady, older, older lady, she decides that she's going to look in her attic because those I think those two are related in the book. And what happens is she finds this key, and the key goes to something in the woman's um, house. So she 
she unlocks the it with the key and it comes clear. It turns out to be various clues and it's about these two it's about her great great grandmother and the true love that she missed um from a long time ago in the Civil War. Her um because she's like, Oh, this isn't the guy that my great great grandmother married so it was like a true love type of thing. And they have to find this clock to get the answers. And here, when they find the clock, she finds something inside the clock that helps her out financially. I really liked it. It was a really cute mystery book. So if you like mysteries, you'll love this book. So that's all the books I have for this month. Comment below and tell me some of your books. Like I said, comment below and tell me if you liked the movie. If you didn't like it, tell me how it was. But don't have any spoilers in it um please subscribe give this video a thumbs up share this video and hope you guys have a wonderful day